Hello and welcome to a video on customizing your toolbar buttons in particular to do this to control your layers in AutoCAD or AutoCAD uh, Lite uh, it's possible in, in Lite as well as AutoCAD to do this um, these are the buttons over on the right which you can make and you can write shortcuts within them that will that will um, cut out a lot of commands and make life easy for you. If I can just demonstrate, I can turn on uh, or thaw the right layers for a proposed plan. I can thaw the right layers for a reflected ceiling plan. Uh, I can go back, switch back to demolition plan, and um, I can also thaw everything if I want. I can freeze hatches. I can freeze solids, which is these uh, ones in the walls. Um, I can freeze dimensions, and uh, I can go back and all at the touch of a button. So one button, uh, one click on each of these buttons will thaw the right layers for me. If I look at what happens in the uh, layers box the, when this comes up, you'll see that it's thawed the. Uh, It's thought it's it's frozen the proposed layers. It's kept the B, which are existing layers, and it's kept the demolition layers. It's just left off the reflected ceiling layers, which I don't want to show on the demolition plan. If I switch now to uh, proposed, then when I look again at that uh, dialog uh, box, it shows. That it has now switched on, uh, thawed the appropriate layers for a proposed plan. Now, to make one of these buttons, what you'll need to do is we write, we'll make a toolbar first, and this, the one that I've made actually, that's called, I've named that custom, but I'll make another one. So if I want to make another one, I right click on an area. Of, of an existing toolbar, I go down, click customize. Uh, this brings up this user interface. Now um, I need to expand this by clicking down on that button. I go to this tab up the top, I come down to toolbars, I'll open that up. Now I see that I've already got my custom toolbar, which I've talked about before. Now I've got another toolbar here, which is uh, which I don't need, I'll just um, delete that. Yes, um, I'll make a new toolbar. New toolbar, well that was... Now, when I go, I'll apply that, I'll go and look for that out here. Now, it's it's a little bit hard to find, but it's this tiny toolbar over here. I'll, um, there's n no buttons on it yet, it's just called toolbar, toolbar tool, and two. And it, I can move this around, but I have to pick on this little blue-grey area there to move. If I click other bits of it, it won't really move, it won't really do much at the moment. So it's to move it around, I just click on that little grey area there with a left click. Now I'll um, go back to, I'll right-click on a, the edge of a toolbar, customize, open this window again. Now I'm ready to make a button to put on that toolbar. Now I won't delete my existing commands but I'll, I'll make a new one. To make a new button I go to this little star up here, create a new command and I, I want to flick back to custom commands and that's the new command it's created. Now to modify that I, I click on that button, expand this window a little bit, just adjust the size there. And I come over here, and that command, I'll call it Thor. I'll just make a simple one to begin with. I'll say Thor All. This is my new button. I'll, and for a description, this will pop up when I hover the mouse over the button. I'll say Thor All again. Now down here is where I write the macro, or the little button script. Now, um, there's only a few commands to learn here. Um, the ones that are there at the moment, it starts off with a cancel command, and that is done by a little uh, 
upstroke um, above the six, you go shift six for that little triangle up the top there, um, a C, another shift six, and a C, and that cancels any command that might have been in progress. Now I want to type a layer, I want to get started to think about layers, so if I was on the command line which is down there, and doing typing a command, I would I would type LA if I wanted to bring up a layers dialog box. If I just want to leave leave AutoCAD thinking about um, the layers without bringing up a dialog box, I would type minus LA. So that's what I'd need to do here. I'll type minus or hyphen LA. Uh, I know it's small, but um, I'll read out the letters. Then I hit. I would like a return. So a return is a semicolon. Then I want to Thor, a T for Thor, and I want to tell it to um, return, and uh, which is a semicolon again. Uh, and I'm going to hit a wild card or a star above this above the eight there, shift eight, which is a star, and I'm going to tell it to Thor everything. And then after it's done that, I'll tell it to enter it, which is re return, which is a semicolon. And in fact, I need two semicolons to finish the command. Now, uh, I want to have a button for it, so I come up here, and I'll edit an existing button. I'll, I'll just start off with an existing button. I'll, I'll, I won't modify this existing button, I'll save it in a different spot. It shows me that where it's saved, in AutoCAD, which is in this long file uh, file there, the file um, folder set up there. Now I'll edit that button. Um, what I want to do is clear it. I'll just turn on a grid to help me draw. I'll draw a little T here with this pencil command there, and I'll, I'll go down there. I'll uh, and I'll, I'll I'll call this. Whoops, I've made a little mistake there, but. I, I'll call this Thor, and to rub it out, I use that rubber button just there. So I'll save as I'll save this one as th. Whoops! I'll I'll call it Thor. Save, and now close, and we'll see that that's changed that image there to th. Oh, and I need just to yes, yes, and that's changed it to Thor. Now I want to apply that. Uh, now I have a button, and it's it's over here actually. That's the new button I've created. The T underneath was the existing one. Now I want to put that on that toolbar that I that's floating over here. So I'll just drag that across there, put it in there. Now I can by shifting on the right bit of the uh, of the toolbar, I'll move it over there. Now I'll close that window over. Okay. Oops. Before I do that, I might just make sure I've applied it to make things stick. Otherwise, next time I open AutoCAD, it might not be there. I'll close it. Close that dialog box. Now when I press this new button I've created, it should thaw everything. And it thaws all the layers. So, just to get more a little bit more complicated with this, uh, these other buttons, I'll show you that the it's the same set system, but the scripts are a little bit longer. So for that, I need to find the custom commands. Uh, if I look at the demolition button, this um, I need to just adjust the size of this. Let's see. You'll see here that is the script for um, turning on the demolition layers. So here, it's a little bit small to see, but it's cancel command minus LA semicolon Thor semicolon star semicolon set S for set set z and semicolon zero zero is the current layer semicolon. And then I tell it to freeze some layers. So F for freeze, uh, semicolon. Now I've given it a wildcard and said anything with A underscore in the 
in the name uh, and then I've got an apostrophe for uh, more in the series which is anything with RCP which is a star at the front and a star at the end another another apostrophe and then star anything with the name detail in the name uh, and then two semicolons to re to close that command and enter it uh, and that is the script for my demolition layers if you had a different prefix out the front of your layers you'd use the corresponding um, script uh, this corresponding um, name prefix there uh, you just have to be careful that you're not turning on something which is um, ambiguous and, and use somewhere else so for my layers I've just got that in one spot for each case so if I look at uh, some of the other layers I've got proposed and that there is another script there for proposed and for proposed roof uh, well I had proposed roof reflected ceiling it's slightly slightly longer well quite a long script there I think that's an old script probably doesn't need to be quite that long but there's a few layers that are going on and off there and uh, that could probably be shortened a little bit neatened up and that is how you create these buttons so in another I'm getting short of time so in another video I'll, I'll talk more about those button commands so that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed this video please press like if you've enjoyed it thank you bye